Well, a high school on high alert today. Hamden had to cancel classes at its high school after someone posted a threat online referencing a school shooting. That's where we find Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane, who is live with the mobile newsroom. Matt, what can you tell us? Well, Courtney, the school district, the police department, the mayor, all saying this was done out of an abundance of caution, not going to take any chances, especially after what's happened here in the past. Now, the school district tells us that they were alerted to this threat just after 9 o'clock last night. It was made online, implying that someone was going to bring a gun to Hamden High School today. Now, school administrators, along with Hamden's police chief, decided to keep the school closed today, and that's not all. Even with no classes or kids on campus today, there were additional police patrols here at the high school and at other schools around town as well. Now, this is the third recent incident at Hampton High that's prompted a police response. Back in October, a Hampton High School student was arrested after bringing a gun to school. And just this week, two freshmen were arrested after getting into a fight following dismissal in which a 13-year-old stabbed a 14-year-old classmate a number of times. Hamden's mayor says while police are investigating to see if this recent threat was even credible, she says they weren't going to take a chance. The way that it's all been messaged is be careful, be on the lookout. And, you know, nationally we're seeing a lot of violence in our schools, um, you know, with what happened in Michigan. Um, we had an incident earlier in the week. And so, you know, the kids really do need a lot of um, assistance, a, a lot of mental health. Um, and we need to do better for our kids right now. Again, Hamden police continue to investigate. Now, coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 5, one student tells us she's a junior, so this is now her third year here on campus. She says she never recalls seeing this many incidents with police having to get involved. You'll hear from her tonight on Eyewitness News at 5. We're live with the mobile newsroom in Hamden. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.